Good morning. Welcome to the forecast discussion for June 13th, 2013. It's a Thursday morning at uh, 8.20 a.m. And it's a very active morning as we're going to be dealing with a severe weather event, a flash flooding weather event, and a very complicated weather event. Oh, let's break this down. So for right, right now, as of 8.20 a.m., we have a complex of strong to severe thunderstorms. The severe portion of these thunderstorms down around Harrisburg moving rapidly to the east towards the Philadelphia metro. We have an area of very heavy rainfall and embedded thunderstorms over northeastern Pennsylvania, rapidly moving towards the New York City metropolitan area. Notice the temperatures. It's a little harder to see, I understand, because of the radar, but trust me, we have temperatures in the upper 50s to lower 60s over Connecticut, lower to mid 60s over the, over the New York City metropolitan area, and upper 60s to lower 70s over the Philadelphia metropolitan area lower to mid 70s over the Washington DC and Baltimore metropolitan areas. Why am I pointing this out? Look where the winds are from. East, southeast, south. We have our warm front slash stationary front approaching from the south and west. Now that stationary front is gonna be a key factor into this entire forecast. Where that stationary front sets up by this afternoon is gonna tell us a great deal about what to expect in terms of strong severe thunderstorms or heavy rainfall for the region. So what I'm expecting is that this first area, this is the first wave of showers and thunderstorms to move through, will move through between now and 11 a.m. with the potential for severe thunderstorms basically from central New Jersey, especially for southern New Jersey and the Philadelphia metropolitan area. I think really the focus for this first line in terms of strong wind gusts and severe type weather with uh, frequent lightning we really focus over southeastern Pennsylvania right around the Philadelphia metro and southern New Jersey. Also notice these winds are rapidly increasing from the south and east eventually veering to the south anywhere from 10 to 20 miles per hour increasing to 15 to 25 miles per hour by this afternoon and this evening. Meanwhile over the, the New York City metropolitan area that easterly wind is going to continue, and that's going to transport a moisture-filled, marine, stable air mass that's going to keep a very, very significant heavy rain event for the entire New York City metropolitan area at, back off towards northeastern Pennsylvania. So a lot to go over, so let's dive into this. Here is the latest radar. You can see that complex of storms starting in the Ohio River Valley, an impressive severe thunderstorm event last night tracking through Pennsylvania and now reaching southeastern Pennsylvania. I'm going to pause this here for a second. Okay, so here we are. Here's the first wave. And this is basically how this is going to break down because none of the models are really handling this very well. This is a mess of scale disturbance. The actual low pressure system cold front is still back here in the Ohio River Valley right around here. This wave will first move through this morning with very heavy rain for the New York City metropolitan area and that severe thunderstorm complex. This will exit by around noon. Thereafter, we're going to see a bit of a break. Showers are going to become more scattered over New York City. You might see a complete break, complete dry conditions in the early afternoon hours over the Philadelphia metropolitan area. And then the question is whether we get enough clearing here to support the stabilization and allow this line of thunderstorms to grow. Right now, this is rain-cooled air behind this complex of storms. And so, that means you have low clouds, that means you have relatively cool, stable conditions. If we get those clouds to break up and that stationary front lifts north towards, let's say, central New Jersey, then central, southern New Jersey and the Philadelphia metro is in line for a significant severe weather threat. If it doesn't, then you're pretty much looking at heavy rain. So that's pretty much how this is breaking down. With the water vapor satellite picture, you can see that stationary front here. It's expected to lift north once this complex moves through and we see some sunshine break out. The stationary front will stall just to the south of Long Island and this low pressure system will track due east, exit off the Monmouth County coast in central New Jersey to the south of Long Island, producing very heavy rainfall over the New York City metropolitan area and the potential for strong to severe thunderstorms this afternoon. The severe threat, I'm thinking somewhere between 2 p.m. and 8 p.m. this evening for the Philadelphia and New York City metropolitan area. For the 
rush hour for both Philadelphia and New York City for this afternoon and evening. It's going to be ugly, a lot of rain, a lot of unsettled conditions, poor visibility uh, below a mile in many locations. This is going to be a very rough evening rush hour. So be prepared, drive very slow. Just want to show the infrared satellite picture and right here, let me pause this for a second here. Stop. Okay. Why do I want to show you this? This is what's key here. If this break in the clouds develops over the Philadelphia metropolitan area, then this stationary front rockets to the north, and you'll know it too because your temperatures will spike from the upper 60s and lower 70s into the lower to mid 80s. A very rapid warm up. For the New York City metropolitan area, you remain to the north of this boundary, which means you remain in cool air. So you have temperatures in the 60s and 70s. It's going to be raw. It's going to be wet. It's not going to be the best weather conditions for a baseball game. That is for sure. So, overall, New York City is looking at pretty much a heavy rain event, especially northeastern New Jersey is going to have to deal with some flash flooding here. Uh, rainfall amounts anywhere from 1 to 3 inches. For central New Jersey, southern New Jersey, and the Philadelphia metropolitan area, we're looking at the potential for severe thunderstorms. Now, key point here, if we get very strong severe thunderstorms over Virginia and Maryland, that could limit the potential for development over central and southern New Jersey and Philadelphia. So there's a lot of factors here we're going to have to keep an eye on. I'm going to be updating throughout the day, keeping an eye on this complex as it approaches the Philadelphia and New York City metropolitan area this afternoon. This cold front is what ends it all. Okay, so until this cold front moves through this evening, we're going to be under the threat for those strong severe thunderstorms. Then as this low pressure system exits off the coast, it's going to intensify and become almost like a nor'easter. So you're going to have winds veering back to the northwest, or should I say back into the northwest, ranging anywhere from 10 to 20 miles per hour, possibly up to 25 miles per hour sustained, periods of moderate to heavy rain, and then it finally exits tomorrow morning, with a few scattered showers and windy conditions for the, for tomorrow afternoon with northwesterly winds anywhere from 10 to 20 miles per hour decreasing to 5 to 15 miles per hour by this evening. Crazy weather. But at least this weekend is looking pretty nice. So let's take a look at the latest model guidance from the Penn State e -Wall website. Uh, this is the European model guidance. Here's our low pressure system <laughs> Excuse me, exiting off the coast. Here's our strong disturbance. Strong severe thunderstorms over Philly. New York City metropolitan area, periods of moderate type of rain. That low pressure system exits by tomorrow evening. That low pressure system is well off the coast. High pressure is taking control. Clearing skies could be expected. Temperatures still cool, ranging from the upper 60s to lower 70s over northern interior, lower to mid 70s over the New York City metropolitan area, mid 70s over the Philadelphia metropolitan area. For this weekend, Saturday and Sunday, high pressure in complete control. Temperatures are very seasonable, mid to upper 70s over Long Island, upper 70s to lower 80s in the New York City metropolitan area, and lower to mid 80s over the Philadelphia metropolitan area for this weekend. Then, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, look for a potential for scattered showers each afternoon, but also warmer conditions with temperatures ranging from the upper 70s to lower 80s along the immediate coast, and lower to mid 80s away from the coast. So, if you're in the Philadelphia metropolitan area or Delaware River Valley, it's going to be a warm start to next week with temperatures in the lower to mid 80s. Well, that is your video forecast discussion for today. Of course, I'm going to have live coverage throughout the day on this potential severe weather event and also flash flooding event. If you're in northeastern New Jersey, southeastern New York, or Connecticut, especially southwestern Connecticut, be on guard for flash flooding as we're going to be dealing with a lot of rain once again anywhere from one to three inches, and of course the severe potential in the Philadelphia metro and also central and southern New Jersey, wind gusts over 60 miles per hour, hail, frequent lightning, heavy downpours, and even an isolated tornado. It's going to be a busy day, and of course you can follow the latest weather updates at nynjpaweather.com and nynjpaweather on Twitter and Facebook. Have a wonderful day. Stay safe out there.